I didn't realize you liked me that way, Deal. Because it's one thing to receive McDonald's, but an entirely other thing to know that they woke up early to face the world and bring you McDonald's breakfast still hot in the bag. Appreciate you. There's a deal for every morning. Now grab two loaded sausage burritos for only three bucks. Prices and participation may vary. Single item at regular price. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. What to build? What to build? Oh, come on, Lucy. Wow, you're a builder. You're a maker. You're a... <gasps> I got it! Tool call. Hammer. Hammer. Wrench. Wrench. Drill. Drill. Great job, Kapow. Great job, Kapow. Oh, no, wait, that's me. Great job, Lucy Wow. Oh, brother. Now all we have to do is turn this thing on. Let the show begin. Oh, hi there. Welcome back to Pflugerville. It's me, Kapow, the mechanical pygmy goat, beaming into your ears all the way from Lucy Wow's barn. You know, I love invention. I mean, my goatness, I am an invention. That's right, from my parts made of tools to my boombox butt, every inch of me is a Lucy Wow original. And while I'm obviously the coolest thing that Lucy Wow ever built, she's built all sorts of stuff. It's what she does, which is probably why she loves today's invention. Lego so much. Lego is a toy that you can use to build anything you can imagine. I mean, anything. I mean, who knows? With enough of them, you might even be able to build a Lego Kapow. In fact, we should build a me out of Lego. But before we try and figure out how to capture the beauty of Kapow with plastic bricks, let's take a look at how Lego itself was created. It all started in Bulland, Denmark, in the workshop of Ola Christensen. Ola was a carpenter who started making wooden toys in 1932. He was so successful with these toys that he decided to start a company that he named Lego, based on a Danish phrase that means play well. Lego was a hit in Denmark, and by 1947, they were ready to try something new. So they began producing plastic toys to go along with the wooden ones. Now, most people thought that plastic would never be able to replace the traditional wooden toys, but boy, were they wrong. By 1951, plastic toys accounted for half of the Lego company's output. Of all the plastic toys Lego made, the one with the most potential was the simplest, a brick. Lego could see that these simple plastic bricks could become a tool for creation, a modern version of wooden bricks. But the bricks had some problems. For one thing, their locking ability was limited. But all the same, the company believed in the brick. So they decided to dedicate some time to make it the best it could be. It took five years, but eventually Lego managed to perfect a brick design that didn't just connect with other bricks, it connected with kids' imaginations all over the world. Lego pieces come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, and all of these varieties combine together to create a universal system. So, what does that mean? Well, even though the pieces have different shapes and sizes, they all still can work together. Sort of like people and goats, if you think about it. Lego sets for young children work with those made for teenagers. Old Lego work with new Lego. It's a simple and elegant idea, but it's not an easy one to create. Making each brick is a very complicated process. First, the plastic is heated to exactly 232 degrees Celsius, or 450 degrees Fahrenheit, until it reaches a cookie dough-like consistency. But don't be fooled, it doesn't taste like cookies. The plastic is then injected into a metal mold that shapes it and is then left to cool for approximately 15 seconds. It's a time-consuming process, but Lego has it down to a science. And each year, their factories make around 36 billion pieces. Wow! Now, it's not just bricks, obviously. The Lego group has released thousands of sets with themes, like space, pirates, Ahoy! city, trains, dinosaurs, yeah! and the Wild West. Yeehaw! 
In addition, they've made sets dedicated to cartoons, movies, books, amusement parks, and video games, from Batman to Indiana Jones to Minecraft. And since they were making sets based on movies, video games, and amusement parks, Lego figured why not go ahead and make a Lego movie or two and a bunch of Lego video games and eight Legoland amusement parks around the globe from Denmark to Carlsbad, California to Iskander Puteri, Malaysia. My goatness, Lego has even gone to space. That's right. Mission STS-134 brought 13 LEGO kits to the International Space Station, where astronauts built models to see how they would react in microgravity. How cool is that? Of course, some of the best times a builder has with LEGO aren't building sets or following directions, but creating something new from their imagination. In fact, there are now competitions all over the world where brick artists display their original creations that range from funny to beautiful intricately detailed to unbelievably huge. As of 2021, the Lego company was the biggest toy company in the world. But it's not just a company, it's an empire. An empire that all started with one little brick. But that's the thing about building. It doesn't matter what you make, whether it's a giant mole with a shovel in its butt, a mechanical pygmy goat with a passion for podcasting, or a Lego dinosaur. Every masterpiece starts with a single piece. So look around, find your first piece, and start building. Okay, friends, that brings us to the end of another Kapow's Power of Invention podcast. If you've got a question about Lego, the world of Go Kid Go shows, Pflugerville, or Lil Ol' Me, make sure you send it to Kapow at gokidgo.com. You might get your question read live on the show. I get a lot of excitement as Lucy Wells' sidekick. Sometimes it overwhelms me and I just, well, you know, faint. Well, today I got the most exciting news and I, and I, oh, easy kapow, deep breaths. Don't faint. I'm on a t-shirt and a hoodie and a sticker and God, I'm famous. The most famous mechanical pygmy goat to ever live. Go to gokidgo.com and check me out. Lucy Wild merchandise is now available and you know you need more kapow in your life. And make sure you come back tomorrow when I'll be covering more inventors and inventions. Now go have yourself an inventive day. Make something, build something, go big, and then go bigger. Until next time, this is Kapow signing off. Go, kid, go! Go, kid, go! Offer deadline on Oak Street, Mile 3. Welcome to the housing market. I'm with Redfin, and I'm here to help. I need to sell my house. Great. Redfin charges a 1% listing fee when you buy and sell with us, which is more than half off the usual fee and saves you an average of $8,400. Oh, wow. Is that all? Uh, yep. I'm kidding. You had me at 1%. Want to win? Sell with Redfin. It's real estate done right. Bidding war at the offer's counter in five minutes. Average savings is Redfin refund plus 1% listing fee. Subject to minimums. Not available in all areas. Learn more at redfin.com.